Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I thought I'd do another one because what else is there to do just to vlog my daily boring life at home? Um, I'm doing it on my phone, so I hope you guys can hear me properly. We're actually going to go to our corner shop, the one that I despise, but we need like a, at least a small pack of eggs and um we're gonna get like flour we're me and my sister we're gonna go to shop we obviously cover ourselves we put gloves on i don't have a mask i've ordered some on amazon for like 15 pounds or 10 um just for like last minute kind of emergency use if we need to go and queue outside to shop and stuff um and all our clothes as soon as we get out at home we take all our clothes off and we wash our hands like crazy amount of times disinfect everything that we get and my mom doesn't really touch anything anyways so we're making sure to be careful i don't have a mask right now but i do have like a boob tube which i've tied up in the back and just can just put it up like that just to be extra careful in case anyone coughs around me because it's happened at the corner shop if you haven't heard of my um story i went to the shop guy coughs and he's like oh i made a comment about it and he said if i coughed last year you wouldn't have mentioned it and i said these are different circumstances how can you even say that and he looked so ill um and luckily i didn't haven't caught anything like i feel fine but yeah we're just being extra careful guys and you guys should too but anyways i'm gonna head off because my sister's waiting for me and yeah this is a cool tip if you want to cover your face just get a boob tube elasticated boob tube that you have at home take an elastic band tie it in the back and you're good to go. Is it filtered as it should be? I don't know, but it's covering my face, so it's good enough for me. Guys, I've got my gloves on. This don't feel right at all. Look at my sister. Look at her. She got the legit mask and everything. I've got a bloody boob tube on my face. <laughs> but that's a boob tube. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they're not overpriced. $2.99. $2.99, what is this? Alright guys, we're going to do a bit of a haul. We've got two eggs, of course. I've got two uh, cans of coconut milk so I can make my soup food because honestly, I've only been eating veg. Um, I managed to get some, basically I've washed everything with antibacterial. Um, I managed to get some nail polish remover because my nails need saving for sure. Some baking paper because we run out of these and we use them all the time. I bought some pads just in case. And two boxes of tissues, of course. I got some vegetable oil because we don't have any. We got some iced tea, lemon, of course. Orange juice because we need to get that vitamin C in. I've got some coming in a week, but we don't have any till like for like three days now. So we're gonna drink this for now. My sister needed to stock up on pads. We've got some cranberry juice, and obviously, clearly, some snacks that was not very necessary. Oh, these are all necessities. What you were on about? Necessities. Right, I'm now back with my vlog camera. Got some lighting because it's so dull. Like the whole past week was so funny, and now it's not. But anyway, we have to hurry up because I need to get back to work. So my sister's gonna help me film now. Right here. So we need six chopped ripe bananas right here. Um, then we need four eggs. Um, 300 grams of caster sugar then i've got 30 grams of baking powder and 500 grams of self-raising um, flour and then we've got 200 ml of vegetable oil then you want a blender so we're gonna put these here you blend it yeah you sure yeah i did it yesterday what do you oh. mean <laughs> So I doubled the recipe and I will link the recipe um, in the info box but basically my sister needs one whole one for your, for herself. <laughs> I'm exposing that right now. <laughs> Do you want to tell them about your dream? My dream? Yesterday I made a cake and my sister only got one piece and she came back to get some more and there was basically none left. So she was a bit disappointed, right? Disappointed to the point where she had a dream about it. She dreamt that she made, she was pissed off that I didn't make the cake, so she tried it herself. Did it turn out right? No, the mix was in and I put mommy's chicken mix with it. And then my dream ended. <laughs> like, how random, like, that's how annoyed you were from not getting more than one piece that you actually dreamt about it. Hey, baby! Okay, so then, once your bananas in, you're gonna put just your eggs. 
So after you put your eggs, actually, you're going to put your sugar in too. Okay, now that once that's really blended, I'm going to use some of this vanilla extract kind of thing, essence. Just put a drop of that in. And then you want to take your vegetable oil, put that in. I like to put like a spoon of cinnamon powder. This is just additional. Oh, baby. Bloody arm workout. Try not to put flour. <laughs> and then also the recipe has lemon juice. So I'm just going to put some of this. Just lemon juice for pre um lazy people I just want to give this a good mix till like it's nice and smooth normally with a bread you're trying to avoid mixing it as much as possible so there's like loads of air in it and it becomes nice and big but this one like was quite fluffy I don't know it just becomes more of a take a cake texture rather than like a bread like a loaf of bread you just want a nice smooth consistency like this do it again Ooh. Elizabeth, how's your Should day I do going? Them in two or at the same time? How's your day going? What's wrong? Oh, she made the camera dirty. Just want to make an outline of your baking tray. Time is raining. It doesn't have to be precise. I'm kind of like in a rush right now, so I'm doing this very quickly. I just want that there. actually a um, fryer, air fryer thing that we used to <laughs> but I like to use it for cakes because um, it's just the perfect size. Are you learning how to make banana cake? Oh. And we're going to take a little bit of butter on a brush and just butter like the edges and we'll just take this out first. When you want to get your cake out it's just going to slide right off. I'm not putting edges on that one. The what? No, I just put butter on. Are you not paying attention? I'm just asking for other people who might think the same thing. <laughs> because basically I just can't be bothered to cut the edges. <gasps> this doesn't turn out right, you're making it again. <laughs> you don't have enough bananas, sorry. I'm gonna cook corner shop then. A bit of good tap. Air bubbles. Don't, don't look at my socks. I've already shown them. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I'll put these in. I've got the, we've got a fan oven, so I put it at. <laughs> nothing, nothing is cooperating. <laughs> Number one in. So yeah, we've got a fan oven. Who put it that low? Did you touch it? No. So I'm going to put 40 minutes 
at 160 degrees for a flan oven. You can put it to like 170, 180 if you've got a fire oven. You meant to say that at the beginning. But who has fire ovens like these days? Okay, I'll put a note in the beginning. <laughs> We're done. I'm gonna get back to work while this cook. Actually, I need to make fish. I've had no time to have lunch. I'm just running around like a headless chicken. But basically, I've decided to have um, fish and eggs. Honestly, because of work, you guys know I have a full-time job on the side. Like, when I am at home, like, in the weekdays, I'm just so busy trying to catch up on all my work stuff. And then I try to get a workout in, make sure I'm doing the food. It's weird because your home space is mixing with your workplace. So it's always work mode. These are the fish that we're going to use. It's like mackerel fillets. Fish cooking right now. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm going to do some work at the same time. Sorry if the camera is wonky. I'm just tilting it against something. But I just have to keep, keep checking my emails and make sure everything's done. By the way, guys, I have started a TikTok, which is crazy. But do follow me on there. I'll leave my username. It's a bit different because... My, you, my name's always taken everywhere so yeah I've been doing some like little funny like videos and dance videos like those dance challenges it's just so addictive and you know my brushes they're hideous right now like this is just one and I've got like three of these they're disgusting and every I need to wash them because they do give me spots anyways it's already three like what I've been awake since like 8 a.m and it's just been non-stop i haven't even seen the day go by we're almost done with the fish so i whisk together some eggs and i like to just put it on medium low heat and gradually kind of like drag it like this and it will just create a nice creamy like scrambled egg kind of thing so this is what the eggs look like and that's our food done Ta -da! So our timer has gone off. I'm so dumb. What did you do? Ay ay ay. This is rude. I forgot to put my thing. So basically I use these and what you do is you wet them with cold water and you kind of wrap it around this and what it does it keeps the edges moist so it doesn't become like a crispy edge. Don't show the kitchen okay it's messy because we have a broken we have broken pipes that need to get fixed. These are key if you want to bake because they honestly help to get really level um moist edges. Yeah the, I just poke it with a knife and it's dry and I think we're all good. We're gonna let it cool down before I take it out off my conference call finally um and the cakes are ready they slipped right out of the tin and they're just super moist and i'm really surprised that the edges didn't burn at all um yeah and it's just super fluffy and and this time it turned out better than yesterday i don't know why but it tastes it tastes definitely more like banana i think i put a bit more banana because the bananas that i used were quite thick this is the plate right now and this one hasn't even been touched so do you get why i made two i just took these out i did also put a bit of icing sugar on the top as like decoration i want to keep it really simple and yeah it's just a perfect little treat guys so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you enjoyed this really casual one guys um and we'll keep the banana pancakes for another vlog because obviously i'm gonna make loads now aren't i um so yeah i hope you all stay safe stay at home and i will see you in my next one thanks for watching guys bye oh my god it's so good stop it stop it how much you rate it nine nine